look disorganized, dysfunctional, and the discipline's out the window, then they might say that was that was a great run. But can you go upstairs and just watch Gerard coach next year? Why are you the right person to restart this organization with right now? Yeah, well, I'm going to do the best I can to help our football team. That's my job. Just a disclaimer, this report is highly speculative. I figured we'd cover it because we've been on a roll dropping double and triple uploads per day. Well, I have a sore throat. In an effort to catch up on all the news that we've missed over the past week. So before we get to the content, make sure you drop like, subscribe, and turn on our notifications to help the channel grow. I think we're done with the botting problem. So if there's something you would like me to give away on X or on Instagram, post it in the comment section because I would love to give some of the way for you guys for the holiday season. And now that we get all of that out of the way, break. Leading up to the season, I spammed predictions at you guys consistently. Michael Porter Jr. needed over 5.5 rebounds in his season debut. Tyree Kill just needed a touchdown and Steph Curry just needed one point. Shout out to those that tailed for those of you guys that were able to make money. We're giving away our picks for free all season long for the NBA and NFL on my Instagram at the flight Mike. And right now when you use promo code microphone on prize picks, they'll match your deposit up until $100. Thank you prize picks for the sponsor. Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? Bill Belichick is an individual that doesn't need any introduction. A man who is arguably the greatest NFL head coach of all time, not at minimum the greatest NFL head coach of our generation. A man that has a cumulative eight Super Bowl championships and has one coach of the year on three separate occasions. And then you realize that being a head coach is more of a side hustle because he's technically doing the job of two men. On top of being the head coach, of the New England Patriots, he's also the general manager of the New England Patriots. And when it's all said and done, there's no doubt in anyone's mind that he is going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. However, recently, Bill Belichick hasn't had nearly as much success with the New England Patriots as he had in years past. From the moment Tom Brady left the New England Patriots, you saw Bill Belichick compile a record of seven wins and nine losses, and then the year after, 10 wins and seven losses, until a regressing to eight wins and nine losses last year before getting to this season. And through it all, there has been plenty of drama surrounding Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots. For example, the fact that Mac Jones was so frustrated at Bill Belichick for getting him Matt Patricia as an offensive coordinator last year that he reached out to Alabama for help. When Bill Belichick found this out, he reportedly tried to trade Mac Jones. There's rumors that Robert Kraft sided with Mac Jones over Bill Belichick. And over this past year, Mac Jones has been benched on on two separate occasions. It's no secret, if you're watching Mac Jones play football right now, you can tell he's not playing the best football of his career. And at a specific point, one has to wonder, is Mac Jones the problem, or is it the pieces around him? Or is it a problem with coaching? This past off season, Bill Belichick got Bill O'Brien for Mac Jones to try to fix things. Maybe next year, he'll be able to get Josh McDaniels for Mac Jones. Or maybe the problem isn't with coaching at all because the supporting cast around Mac Jones stinks. His wide receivers aren't separating, he's feeling pressure almost instantaneously, and he's placed in a situation where he's just bound to lose no matter what. And through it all, I think he's performing remarkably well given his circumstances. At the time that we're recording this video, he has a passer rating of 80.2, but he has a QBR of 40.3. The New England Patriots are two and seven. They're closer to potentially getting a player like Marvin Harrison Jr. than they are to making it into the playoffs. And honestly, the odds of them making the playoffs this year is completely out of the picture. And given Bill Belichick's past with reporters and the media, which has given us gems like this. Yeah, I don't know. So what happens if Jimmy plays better? Look, I told you what's going to happen. So there's no... There's this... And obviously the media isn't gonna pull any punches towards Bill Belichick when it comes to taking a hot steamy deuce on him. So back in the summer, we got this report that Bill Belichick has technically been on the hot seat since 2019 and Jared Mayo is next in line. Now, I want you to understand the context of 2019 because 2018 was when they won the Super Bowl, 2019 was when they lost to the Tennessee Titans in the wild card game. So to say that your head coach is on the hot seat after winning three Super Bowls in a 
span of like four years is already questionable. But regardless, Rich Eisen said this. You know, you talk about avoiding the hot seat. He's on the hot seat and he's been there at different levels of warmth since 2019. Look disorganized, dysfunctional, the discipline's out the window. Then they might say that was that was a great run. But can you go upstairs and just watch Gerard coach next year? You know, better. What does better look like? They got to make the playoffs and win a game. And after this past year with the New England Patriots performing so poorly, there have been questions about whether or not they're going to let Bill Belichick go. But it was announced a few weeks ago that the New England Patriots already agreed to a contract extension with Bill Belichick. With that in mind, one would think that we could move on from this. One would think that, okay, Bill Belichick has the ultimate job security and that's it. But apparently this isn't the case, at least according to Ben Bolin. Apparently this was an act of war from Bill Belichick who leaked his contract details in order to send a message to Robert Kraft and Jonathan Kraft. Now, remember, Jonathan Kraft recently said that the New England Patriots are not good enough. And I don't think that's a bold statement at all whatsoever. I mean, when your wide receivers are performing like this, your offensive line is forming the way they have been. The gem that you drafted in the first round and screwed over your division rival for is out for the season. And the guy that you traded for to take his place isn't good enough to play, supposedly. Obviously, you're going to say that this team isn't good enough. But even more so, according to Ben Volen, Bill Belichick leaked his contract details in order to send a message to the Crafts. Taken at its face, the report indicated that Belichick will be back with the Patriots next year. But two people close to the team believe that the report was really Belichick sending a message to Robert and Jonathan Kraft. Don't forget that I signed a multi-year contract. If you fire me, I have a big fat buyout coming and I intend to collect every penny. Now, the reason why I said that this video is so speculative is the replies to this is, you lost me at Ben Volen. We need to stop giving a voice to Ben Volen. He always leaks fake news. He even had to apologize last year when he got caught in one. Another report from Ben Volen suggests that based on my conversations, I don't think it's 100% that Belichick finishes out this season. If Belichick loses at home to the commanders and then to the Colts, and comes home from Germany with a 2-8 and eight record, I think there's a chance that the Crafts could make the move in the bye week. It's getting real. But of course, Opie responded to this post by saying, it's Ben Volen, so take it how you will. So obviously this Ben Volen human being isn't necessarily the most trusted source. What do I think of this? Do I think this is real? Do I think there's actually tension between the Patriots and Bill Belichick? I do think that there is frustration between Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots. I do think the Crafts are obviously frustrated after winning this many games that they are starting to lose this many games but at a specific point this was bound to happen you can't consistently contend year after year after year without hitting this low point the Tom Brady era is over and I do think Mac Jones is more than capable of leading the Patriots to winning games I just think the talent around Mac Jones needs some work Bill Belichick did a masterful job getting Christian Gonzalez this past year which is great considering the fact that he hasn't necessarily been nailing his picks prior to this year Cole Strange was a huge reach and is one of the worst offensive guards in the NFL. You already know what my opinion on Mac Jones is, and everybody is laughing at the Patriots for replacing Jacoby Myers with Juju Smith-Schuster, which resulted in Jacoby Myers having a career season with the Las Vegas Raiders. So what do I think the solution is? I don't think Bill Belichick should be fired outright, because what I see in this scenario is very similarly to what the Philadelphia Eagles went through with Andy Reid. For those of you guys that don't know, in 2012, Andy Reid had a 4 and 12 record with the Philadelphia Eagles and the Philadelphia Eagles saw a very exciting blue chip prospect in Chip Kelly and they wanted to bring him on as the head coach instead and when that was an unmitigated disaster they brought in Doug Peterson who's from the Andy Reid coaching tree and when Doug Peterson didn't work out they brought in Nick Sirianni which is a derivative of the Doug Peterson coaching tree ironically what I mean by that is Doug Peterson okay. coached under Andy Reid Frank Reich was a coach underneath Doug Peterson and underneath Frank Reich you have Nick Sirianni the current coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. And I do think these situations are different because in the case of Bill Belichick, you don't have all of those Super Bowls without Bill Belichick. Of course, you need a Tom Brady as well, but you just don't. And I don't believe in getting rid of legendary coaches this quickly. I believe that they deserve some rope and some time to rebuild the roster from the ground up. But at the same time, you're seeing members of the New England Patriots saying that they want to be freed, which is even stranger. Like Kyle Duggar posted this onto his Instagram and chose Set Me Free as the song for his post. Jack Jones and JC Jackson are reportedly being benched because they missed curfew. Now, later on, a video got released to social media and I'm gonna go ahead and say 
This is once again, alleged, highly speculative. I'm not even sure it's Bill Belichick, but a part of me is wondering if this was released with some sort of intent. So this is supposed to be Bill Belichick doing the walk of shame in Nantucket. I've never been to Nantucket, bro. I'm a West Coast guy. I don't know what Nantucket looks like. All I know is it's supposed to be cold in the East Coast right now. So this has to be an older video, but it does look like Bill Belichick. It does look like Bill Belichick's build. And I'm gonna be honest, the only conceivable theory that I could have from this particular video is maybe it was released to the public as some form of blackmail, I guess. Even though I don't really see the blackmail here, it's just Bill Belichick walking out of a home shirtless, presumably doing the walk of shame, maybe going out to the garbage to take out the trash. I don't necessarily know. Or the other theory is it's not Bill Belichick at all. It's some person posting this on Twitter as some way to troll the masses. It could be either one of those. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Should the Patriots move on from Bill Belichick? They're saying Mike Vrabel is the blue chip prospect to replace him. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.